today we recreate my stinger transition. Hey guys, what's up? It's Gravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. So today we're getting back into the stinger transitions because we had a special request from Wild Canadian in my stream. I've been trying to stream a lot more on twitch.tv forward slash Gravity M. Link always in the description of the videos. I've been trying to stream every Saturday and uh, at random times during the week as well if I ever have time. But he has requested that maybe I make my stinger transition into a template. As I've been streaming more, a lot of people have been complimenting me on my graphics and especially my stinger transition that I made custom for myself, but I'm gonna make a new custom one for myself here in the near future. And so I'm gonna be giving you guys the template for my stinger transition. So if you don't know what it looks like, here is what it is. So without further ado, let's get into the template and I'll show you how to use it. All right, guys, so here we are in the template. When you open it up, you're gonna see you have three comps, one called Final Render, one called Your Logo Here, and one called Colors. So here is the template in place. As you can see, I've replaced my BM logo with the fake logo for the template. So here's where you're gonna render your finished stinger transition, but you wanna go first go here to where it says your logo here, and you either wanna hide the fake logo or delete it, and then just add back in your logo. So you can just delete this, import your logo, bring it in. You might need to scale it around and just kind of make sure it's in just like this general size, just to make sure it fits inside this full composition box here and then you should be good once you're finished with that you can go over to the colors tab you're gonna see a bunch of stuff going on here but you don't have to touch any of it all you're gonna see at the bottom is magenta solid and royal blue solid so these are the two colors that I use for Bravity M these are my colors magenta and blue and these colors can be changed to whatever they want so if you click on magenta and you go up to effects controls here you're gonna see we got the magenta color here you can click it and change it to whatever you want it's gonna live update over there and then the royal blue solid, you can click on that, go up here to effects controls, change the slider to whatever you want. So there we go. We got a lemon lime looking transition here. You go back to final render and there you go. You've got it with your logo in place if you replaced it with the fake logo. But that is pretty much it, guys. Once you've changed the colors, you can uh, just export it and you're done. I have a very simple stinger transition. I actually created this before I did all of my crazy templates and whatnot. So I plan on making myself a bit more of an advanced one and uh, letting you guys have this one because a lot of you really liked it. So that's pretty much it. You just change the two colors and then you replace your logo in the Your Logo Here comp. The in and out point is already set for you, but if you want to, you can move it around. So it's just right once the transition ends, the end point ends. Then once you're finished, you wanna make sure that the composition is selected. We're gonna go up to add to render queue. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the rest of the things in the render queue. I had a couple of things in here, um, but here we go. It's gonna pop up just like this. You're gonna click on blue lossless where it says right there, lossless in blue, and you're gonna change it from format from AVI to QuickTime. So once you've changed it there, you're then gonna go down to channels and change it from RGB to RGB plus alpha. The alpha channel just means it's going to have a transparent background behind it. So when you put it over your stream or over your footage, that it won't have a black background. It'll go over your footage. So QuickTime, RGB plus alpha, hit okay. Then you can click over here in blue where it says final render. And once you click that, it'll pull up your finder, or your explorer, and you can name it whatever you want, save it wherever you want, and then just hit render and you're good to install it into OBS. All right, guys, that is pretty much it for this template. It is a very simple stinger trend. Transition. I didn't go crazy when I was creating my graphics originally just because I like simple stinger transitions and uh, you just got to replace your logo and change two colors and that is it. Apparently you guys like simple graphics as well because you're requesting a template for my stinger transition. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you download the template and uh, make your own changes to it. Just keep in mind when I give you these templates, the, the, you don't have to export them just how they are. You can add whatever you want to them. And if you do decide to add things and change it up, make sure you hit me up on Twitter and show me what you did. But that's pretty much it guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.